Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 8. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are now here, uh, taking part in the mid-engine elite open. Uh, we're going to be starting with the Ladera test track. We're going to start seeing this again. Uh, and I believe this is the much longer version of the test track, which is cool. Uh, we then also have the club circuit of Sedona Raceway, which is one of the other, um, what is it, speedway tracks that were added in this game. I think there's two that they added in this game. Uh, and then we got Silverstone International Circuit, so let's get going. All right, here we go. This is the... With the Lotus, with the Lotus, with the, with the, with the Lotus. Nice. And we got the Avora in front as well. Is it the Avora? And we got the Esprit. So we got a Lotus Six Siege, another Lotus Six Siege, a Ferrari, a Lotus Esprit, a Lotus Avora. Nice variety of cars here. That's where the corner used to go round, right? Yeah, this is a different... Um, we definitely didn't do this bit in the start part. It's good that the test tracks, though, they actually make random appearances. They're not completely thrown out. The other game, it was just, oh, look, the start ones, it's only test tracks. And then all of a sudden... Um, they were gone out of existence until it was the big King Cobra one, whatever it was called. This thing's quite grippy in corners, I will admit. This is 100% the fastest car we've used so far. Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Give me gear. Thank you, dear. Bring your sister over here. This is one of the greatest songs that have ever existed. Not bad. It was a good start to the drive. Ah, oh, so close to level one and level 13. All right, here we go. So we're at Sedona. Sedona? Sedon? What's it called? I've forgotten the name. The oval track. This one was added for this game, but it was also featured in Most Sport 4. And then got discontinued after that. So... So it was made with hello, uh, with help of Skrillex and then remixed by Skrillex. Oh, what, this one? Was it? Was it originally made with the help of Skrillex? 
I will have to double check that. Because I know, um... What's it called? Take Me Back to London by uh, Eminem and... Uh, not Eminem, fuck. Take Me Back to London by Ed Sheeran and Stormzy. I was like, em Eminem? What, what the fuck am I on about? <laughs> Ed Sheeran and Stormzy, that Take Me Back to London song was produced by Skrillex. I got deals but I never get twang. Thrills but I never get wang. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> yeah, the only thing that I don't like about the Lotus Exige is the fact that it's got that dinky little wang on the back. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Like, how much would it have hurt to have widened it just that little more? It didn't even need to be taller. It just needs to be wider to fit with a car. Sometimes I get a bit. Do you know, I genuinely expected this race to be a little longer. I didn't realize how quick this thing could actually get around this track. There we go. Not bad. We're going to get our car stuff now. Level 13 rewards. So we got a Seat Leon Super Cup. And we also now have a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Lotus. Let's have a look at this Seat then. Car is small and quirky, just like a hamster. <laughs> it is. It really... Ooh! Oh, that's a touring car. That's the first time we've seen a touring car in this game. In the Forza series. So this is the game where they started adding touring cars. Nice! Oh, that's awesome. Alright, here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm going that there wasn't a guy in that crane with camera equipment. Oh yeah, so one thing I've noticed about this track, specifically compared to uh, other race tracks in this game, is this seems relatively empty. World. Galvanize. Beat him in the breaking zone. I'm not gonna lie, auto upgrade in this game is actually really effective. I'm not sure if Motorsport 2 had auto-upgrade. I don't think it did. But when they added it to this game, it really made it easy for you to just upgrade a car and get into it. Which I'm going to do majority auto-upgrades for this game. Guess how bad idea is driving a truck from the hill full throttle with 45 times on a trailer. Yeah, that's a really bad idea. My finger is on the button.
but a truck on a hill typically a lot of like big trucks that have like 12 gears and all that they'll typically launch in like second or third gear like they they can launch in third or fourth if they've not got a trailer quite easily no problem once you put on a trailer they'll probably launch from like second with that weight if they're on a hill they'll launch from first first gear will get it moving to to about two miles an hour probably and then once it's in second second gear it'll get going i almost destroyed a cargo by going too fast oh yeah that's not a good idea <laughs> yeah i really enjoyed euro truck sim but i just played so much of it like i've got 20 28 30 hours in american truck sim genuinely have played way too much of it oh uh, i really hope they come out with american truck sim 2 soon because we got uh, actually no it'd be euro truck sim 3 wouldn't it before Not bad. My finger is on the button. You have a 10% discount on air filter upgrades by ITG UK. Not bad. I'll take it. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. It's time for the SUV road test. Start off with Sebring, moving on to Circuit de Catalunya, and then Club Circuit Reverse on Sunset Peninsula. All right, here we go. New, 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 new. Oh, this is a really, really bad camera angle. So, I decided to choose the saline. I regret choosing the saline. Probably would have been cheaper as well if I just picked the Cayenne, to be honest. It's quite a hideous looking car. I didn't realize the Cayenne looked that bad. God. <laughs> Cut the corner. Cut the corner, why don't you? And I've all but just forgotten. Okay, this is definitely going to be more challenging than I thought. Picking up the inside. Let's go. What's the interior like? Oh, the interior is actually really nice. There is no reconciliation. It's the gearing ratio for this thing. It's only got four gears. And fourth is like a cruising gear. This is hideous. No wonder this thing's slow. You put an actual gearbox in it, it'd probably be much quicker. I can't imagine this would have any towing power. Fourth gear could probably get this thing up to 220 miles an hour. Maybe 210. That's how ridiculously long that gear is. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Not bad. I'm gonna save this replay. Because I want it. I want it now. No, I'm gonna use it for episode 8 slum now. I think it's episode 8 now. If not, then, uh, oh shit. I've got my planning all wrong. Ah, oh, this is a tune. Warriors dance. Come with me to the dance floor. You and me, because that's what it's for. That Range Rover is bouncing all over the place. This thing has no gear ratios. It's like anything above 60, you're in second. It's like a high-low gear. Bad. Absolutely rammed it up the inside. That's what she said. That Porsche is hot on my tail. Managed to hold it off somewhat. Got to be doing. And the music in our house is so. You and me, cause that's what it's for. What a tune. Every single time the car has to go off. Every single time. Six grand. We got level one. Level 2 as well. Uh, so we now have a 10% discount on intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by Holly. These upgrades are available on cars made by Ford, Saline, and Shelby. Uh, and we have now got reputation level 2 as well, which gives us a 10% discount on air filter upgrades by KN USA. For Chrysler, Dodge, Ford, Panos, Saline, and Shelby. I'm not going to lie, older Calvin Harris songs were the shit. Like, they were so good. Do, 
No, no, you're gonna squeeze me out. Check your mirrors, you pleb. Not bad. What a tune. I remember when this would, would like play every day on the radio. I think I was like seven or eight years old. Absolute tune. Do you know what I find really funny? So you know, um, anyone around about my age will relate to this. When um, parents used to always listen to like 80s radio, 70s radio, depending on how old you parents were 90s 90s is a bit weird if you're like my age but you know <laughs> there's some weird shit that goes on um yeah because I, I remember always like oh why are we listening to this old stuff uh this is like old i'm not far off there i'm not far off from that age where i'm gonna be like listening to 2000s radio That is a good thing, though. Uh, that's a good shout. How come, right, 20 years ago, Heart had, like, Heart 80s, which is, like, 80s music. How come now we're not seeing Heart 90s? Why have they not made a 90s radio station or, like, a noughties radio station for the 2000s? We should be getting into that territory where they're starting to move on to those years now. Okay, I think now is a valid time for me to use my rewind. I have no clue how that happened. That was phenomenal. On so many levels. I put on my shoes and I'm ready for the weekend. This car clearly is that unstable that it cannot go around a corner without rolling over. Coming up to the seven hour mark in terms of playtime. But some of those other ones were like the first live stream was much shorter. Because a lot of them were like two minute races. These ones, a lot of them have been three and a three and a bit. There we go. Good result. I think we got one more now. Actually, no, I think that was the last one. Yeah, there you go. 6,300 credits. Woohoo! Result. All right, here we go. We are taking part in the six-cylinder fast and fun. We're going to be taking the Brera. We've upgraded it to B481. Uh, I have no clue why I decided to upgrade it rather than buying a new car. I think the Brera is a cool car. So we're starting off with uh, Circuit de Catalunya, then Sebring, then Sunset Peninsula. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Let's get this finished for today. Give me a razor. So yeah, we've got the Brera and I, I didn't realize 
until we were looking um, at like cars and stuff for uh, what's it called future events that uh, we then got into the cutscene where it shows the car sort of in a cinematic way and uh, there was a big wing protruding out the back of it as you can see it's fucking hideous there's no other word for it other than hideous But I am in a bit of a pickle because somehow I need to get an R1 car. If I'm continuing with this pattern anyways, I need an R1 car. This is new to me, to me. This is new to me. <laughs> I might actually have to sell some cars because I need a million credits at some point to buy an R1 car. I'll probably sell the Brera after this, to be honest. Obviously, once we get into later stuff, we won't have to worry about selling cars, but... I mean, even Motorsport 1 and 2 didn't have to worry about selling cars, but this, if I'm wanting to do them in order, like all the events, in order. <laughs> trying to have to sell some cars. This is new to me. But yeah, you don't actually have to sell any cars in this game to progress. It's just if I want to progress the way I want to progress, I might have to sell a couple. Ah, there you go. Oh, and the Brera didn't go off the track. Let's go. Nice one. All right, here we go. Great. Already messed up my gearbox. Lovely. Car didn't stand a chance. Matrix, welcome back to the chat. How you doing? Minim, 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 minim. This car's hideous. <laughs> I've ruined it with the wing. I didn't even put the wing on, it was auto upgraded. Like that. Why is it in that position though? But that's such a strange place to put the wing. I will admit the Alfa Romeo has a lovely interior.
bad. What the hell is that emote? Jesus. <laughs> that is brilliant. Dead Mouse is a good artist. The only problem I have with Dead Mouse's music is that he makes one banger for every five songs he makes, and the other four are utter shit. Like, when you have the potential to make amazing songs all the time, you should make amazing songs all the time, you know. It's weird. Alright, this is our final race for today. Final race of this recording session. Final race of this video. Final race... Ever. No, not quite. We still have a lot of Motorsport 3 to go. We ain't getting rid of this game that quickly. Um... Early September. So. The beat, the beat, the beat. No, not quite that early. Why? <laughs> Please don't send a mini nuke through my mailbox, please. What would it cost to buy one of these? I wonder if I can get a Brera for two grand. Oh no! Okay, I need to rewind that one. <laughs> I don't understand why this game is programmed to stop rewinding at the point you start breaking. Because clearly, if I'm rewinding, it normally means that I've completely overshot my breaking point and I've killed my engine. So I will always want to be rewinding before that point. Like, duh. The beat hit the beat.
There we go. Cross the finish line. Woohoo! Nice. Oh, we're level 14. Let's go. I might have to sell this car, though. Oh, wait, no. I'm keeping this. Honda NSX RGT. Woo! Is this an R3 car or a S car? We've got six grand. Oh, wait. Is that a six-cylinder Zun? Oh, yeah. Last race. I said it was the last race, didn't I? Idiot. Ah, oh, yes. That is a beauty. That will be useful for some of these supercar events. All right, let's go. Done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.